Have you ever wondered how to add sources of light to a photograph of a car? In this Photoshop tutorial, we're going to show you a few easy ways you can add light sources, make objects glow, and even add some lens flare to your images. For our setup, we're photographing a controlled scene where we can decide ahead of time where and how we'd like to add our artificial light sources. We're using a toy model of this iconic vehicle as our subject. We shot a few different angles so we could showcase light coming from headlights, taillights, running lights, and instrument panels. The entire scene is being lit by a single source acting as a moonlight with a small reflector to help fill in the shadows. With the photos shot, we can bring them into Photoshop and start making adjustments. There are a lot of ways to achieve the same results, and that's the beauty of a program like Photoshop. For this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple just to get you started. A simple and quick method to add a light source to our car taillights is to add a new layer on top of the image and set the blending mode to color dodge. Go to layer, new layer, set your blending mode to color dodge and check off the box that says fill with color dodge neutral color. Once you've done this, select your brush tool. Keep your flow low between 5 and 10%. You can lower your opacity as well so the color gradually gets painted in. Instead of painting with white, we're going to shift the color to red. From here we can gently start brushing in the red glow of the tail lights. The lights on this car are just 2D stickers with some faint texture on them, so we're going to try and preserve that texture and make the glow feel more like it's coming from the actual bulbs inside the tail lights. If you go overboard with the painting, just flip the brush to black and pull back some of the brightness in the color. Experiment until you find a look that works for you. Once you're happy with the glow of the taillights, duplicate your background layer. Click on Filter and open the Camera Raw filter. From here, create the look you want for the spill. We're going to shift the color around until we get a nice red. We can add a little exposure as well. Once that's done, hit OK and close the raw filter. Add a layer mask, then invert the mask. Select your brush tool, set it to white, and lower the opacity down along with the flow. You can now start painting in parts of the image you'd like to be affected by the tail light glow. The ground, tops of the mufflers, and the areas directly under and around the tail lights will catch the most spill. If you add too much, that's OK. Just set your brush to black and remove where you painted. Within a few seconds, we added a red glow, bringing our taillights alive. This method is very quick and has an almost graphic look to it, so experiment with how much you use. For our next method, we're going to add headlight beams to the front of the car. Starting with just your background layer, add a new layer on top of it and select a tool to draw with, such as the polygonal tool or pen tool. Draw an area where you'd like the beam to go. It should spread outward from the headlights. Once you've drawn it and made your selection, fill the selection with white by going to Edit, Fill, and choosing White. Now that you have the shape of the headlight, you can blur it to make it look more real. Go to Filter, Blur Gallery, and select Field Blur. The Field Blur filter will allow you to vary your blur across the shape. Set one point on the headlight itself, and then you can set a second point towards the edge of the headlight. You can then slide the dials up and down to make the light more dispersed the farther away it gets from the car. Once you're happy with the look, you can soften up the light even more by adding an outer glow. Open up your layer style panel by double clicking on the layer and turning on outer glow. Alter the color to whatever you like. We'll stick with a slightly warmer yellow color and bring the opacity and size sliders up. Next, we're going to disperse the light even more as it gets further from the car. Add a layer mask to the image and select your gradient tool. Open the gradient editor and choose foreground to transparent. Then change the foreground color from white to black. Draw from the furthest point of light toward the headlight. It will soften and disperse the beam so it's more intense the closer we are to the car. Try a few different looks and see what you like best. If the overall light is feeling a bit strong, you can just drop the opacity on the whole layer. Now we can add a small lens flare to the light to give it more realism. The lens flare filter doesn't allow you to add it to the blank layer, so you'll have to create a new layer and fill that layer with black. Once you've done that, go to Filter, Render, and choose Lens Flare. 
You can choose from four different lens types and the position where you'd like the flare to exist. Set the brightness and apply the filter. Next, change the layer blending mode to screen. The black background will disappear and you will now have a clean lens flare on its own layer. Place the flare and adjust its brightness using the opacity slider. You can shift the color of the flare by clicking on image adjustments, hue and saturation. Choose the color you like best. Now that the headlight is looking good, we can group the layers together and duplicate them for the other headlight. Drag them into place and adjust the opacity to compensate for the light being further away. You can tweak the light until it matches the first headlight in intensity and shape. From here, we can add a subtle glow to the background. Duplicate your background layer and open up the camera raw filter. Shift the color to match your headlights and raise the exposure slightly. Now add a layer mask and invert the image. Select your brush tool on white and gently paint in the areas where the light spills on the ground. You can also create custom shapes and fill them in with the desired color and blur them until they spread across the area you want to cover. There are many ways to achieve results. Going back to our first image, there are other small lights that can be added around the image, such as on the doors. Add a new layer and use the pen tool to create a shape that you want for the door light. Once it is set, fill the selection with the color you'd like the light to be. We're going to go with a warm yellow light. Double click on your layer to bring up the layer blending modes. Select Outer Glow in the menu and drag the opacity, spread and size sliders to create a soft halo around the light. If you like, you can add another layer and softly paint in a slightly lighter color in the middle of the light to give it the appearance it's brighter in the middle. Have fun and add light sources to different parts of your image. Experiment with color and highlights and adding glows. You can even create a layer of fog to soften the image and disperse the glow even more. There are endless ways to manipulate your images. So what tricks and techniques do you use to make lights glow in Photoshop? Let me know in the comments below. This is Jake with B&H. Just keep rolling.